collector and brave one. But yeah, if you're looking, it's still what looks like water flows out that way a bit, doesn't it? With that green tone. Yeah. I don't know if it's 30 foot, but it's quite a, it was quite a bit higher. Yeah. And when you fly over it, you can see there's this notch cut in the bank. Right, eh? That's got Lake Bathurst on it, but that's actually upstream. Um, survey because yeah. it's not that it's not that clear <laughs> and it could just be that um, the built the built areas that historically have been flooded the whole place are going water because you um, and then after a while the lake comes over and just cuts a hole through it yeah. um,
historia este of a mile, turn left onto US. 95 alternate north Arrington cutoff, signs for Arrington. Turn left onto US. 95 alternate north Arrington cutoff, signs for Arrington. Continue on US 95 alternate north for 23 miles. Carson City. Carson is the capital of Nevada.
that's just there now, just the, the track without the, the rail on it. Yeah. Um, Drove up um, in Ohio on what they call the Sun Valley or something. Yep. Like a really high plateau. I got an absolutely stunning burger of this little burger joint that sat 15. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, people were, because they were a bit short staffed, people were sending their kids in and do stuff. But everything was made pretty much from scratch when you walked in. Yep. When I was driving out, I realised that I didn't have enough fuel to get to the next destination. So I didn't do a UE and go back there. But it was like it was like I said in the stuff in Fargo where it was a beautiful sunny day. Huge expanses of white. Yep.
There's fishing and stuff down that road. Yeah? That's what the sign said. another reserve up this road. So I think they call it mission track or something. Yeah. Some of these things it's interesting you, you get the American discoverer of this yeah. and then you delve a bit more in and you find out that he's met some priest, yeah. Spanish priest. Yeah. Right, and, and been told which way he's got to go. Yeah. Um, was it, this was all in the Spanish Empire at one stage. Yeah.
quite the same. Yep. So it must be subterranean water. This is where the car park will be or something. Yeah. Sorry, cheerleaders, yeah. um, but no doubt they're near somewhere. Well, I think there's, there's a Trump person back there with his Trump American flag. Yeah. That's a really funny one because they say people don't respect the flag, but they're vandalising the flag. You know, they're altering the flag. But my, my view is that um, they're scarily easily led. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Um, and so I hear arguments, this doesn't make sense. And it does make sense if you just look at it as a thing which says they only do what they're told. Yeah. Um, for for a, a country that talks about its freedom, yeah. right? And individuality. And, 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 In a quarter mile, and they've right sacrificed the their primary primary bit of freedom, which was their bloody independence, <laughs> to make a decision. They've just said, okay, yeah, I agree. That's the way the world is. And they don't even realise they've done it. Okay, that looks like a school bus. It's filled. Okay, it's is that the police station? Yeah, well, police station's pretty robust. Yeah, well. Oh, Take the next City right Hall. onto West yeah. Goldfield Avenue, then continue straight onto US 95 Alternate North. Turn right here. Yeah, that's what it says. Okay. Goldfield Avenue. It would help if I knew where West was at the moment. 
this guy oh, that way. Head west toward Goldfield Avenue. onto US 95 alternate north West Goldfield Avenue. US 95 alternate north for 27 miles. Sorry.
we just done a U-turn. Come into town. No, no. Through town. And yes, it's like maybe a U-round town. Yes. But, but I think what it did is it just took us through to the road that we were doing. Yeah. yeah. Plenty of water here because that's not irrigated. Uh, um, well, irrig oh, is that an irrigation pipe? Yeah, it is. This is flood, but I think these are. Let's yeah. see those pipes. Yeah. Stuff I think is flat.
I'd say is it's a bit of Trump stuff, but it's not a lot of Trump stuff. You know, like, it's not like everywhere you go there's Trump stuff. No, well, I, I have a bit of a theory that places that come and go, yeah. I suspect that for them, they like Trump because he lets them get on with it. But they recognise that the guy is actually a fruitcake. Yeah. Um, well, most farmers you would expect to get that. So you hope so, because if they're not doing it, the question, the next question is, how are they making their other decisions? Yeah, because yeah. those should be based on reality. But that's what I mean is, farmers generally, you know, have fairly good watching ratings. Well, they need to be. I think they may be more willing to accept Trump as some sort of faith healer because they haven't got a fucking clue what's they haven't got a clue. Yeah. Well, um, so this is a Carson River watershed too. Yeah. Those guys at the Monty Python, aren't they, really? Yeah. He's a Messiah, and I should know, I've seen a few. <laughs> He's not the Messiah. He's just a very, very naughty boy. boy. Yes, there's a bit of that. Really makes sense as a skip the 